There is something about nature, something about taking a walk, something about sitting in the grass, something about walking bare feet through the grass, something about letting the sun hit your face, something about hearing water that relaxes you, that allows you to sit in silence and just hear the noises in nature. I'm Kia McLean, the poet, the healing pen coach. I work primarily with women to use the pen as a tool and a resource to heal by journaling. Nature has been extremely instrumental in my healing. Very early on in my healing journey, I would just go to the park and sit. I wouldn't say anything. I would try my best not to think about anything. I would just sit. I would allow the sun, the wind, the birds, the, the listening of the leaves when the wind hit up against it. I would close my eyes and try to see what the smells were. Sometimes I could hear the cars passing by and I would just take it all in. Those would be my moments of reflection those would be my moments of getting to know myself even more. Those would be the moments where I had gratitude and thankfulness. Where I talked to myself, I talked to my creator, I talked to my ancestors, I talked to the trees and everything else that was in nature. Healing in that type of way is such a beautiful experience. Sometimes I would have my journal, sometimes I wouldn't. But one thing that would always happen is I would journal after going to the park, after sitting there with myself. And I would talk about what that felt like for me. This made me do it more and more because it was something that brought me joy and peace. And so I would continue to revisit the park. I would continue to sit alone. I would continue to have that, that alone time where I could think, where I could understand some of the experiences so I can understand my thoughts. And sometimes I needed to accept being alone. I needed to accept being by myself. And it started with just being with nature first so that I could have those moments in the home alone, so that I could have those moments in the car with no sound, so that I could have those moments walking through the park with nothing in my ears but silence, but wind. And so I would journal about how these experiences were nurturing me. I was nurturing myself. I was being obedient. My body needed it. My heart needed it. My spirit needed it. And the more I journaled about it and wrote about it, the more I wanted to do it because when I would go back and read those entries, it was as if, even when I was writing, it was as if my fingers, my hands wouldn't stop writing. I wanted to talk about those experiences and what I felt and the joy that came out of just sitting in silence. And so, if you're not journaling, or if you want to journal, if you want to join me for a journaling workshop or one-on-one -on -one journaling, out to the website, kiascoaching.com. Let's connect because these are experiences that changed my life. These are experiences that afforded me the opportunity to manifest differently in my life. But 
to show up for me. So, let's get this started. 